All right, I decided to make a quick video here of an odd issue I was having with uh, writing, composing an email in Gmail and having this text overwrite. So what was happening was I would Let me make it go back to what it was doing. I would start an email and usually I get a cursor. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm typing a subject line. So I could start typing, it would show up. And then I'd come, to, I'd be like, where's my cursor? I want to go to the subject now, but nothing's there. But if I start typing, there it shows up, right? But if I start typing, it writes over it. So the insert's not working. So I didn't press the insert key. So usually when you get that, when you're in a Word doc or whatever, you just press the insert key and that fixes it. You don't do it. So I've been searching the web and the internet for figuring out why can't I get the insert key to change there. So for whatever reason, in that subject line, it doesn't recognize what you're doing with the insert key. So you have to come down to the body and click on some text inside the email and then press the insert key. So now you can see it changed to a cursor. So we have insert, that's overwrite mode, and then your cursor. So now if I start typing, it'll add letters versus overwrite letters. And now when I start a new email, I'm going to delete that one. Oh, see, I got to turn it back on. Okay, so now we're in insert mode or normal mode. So now normal mode, you can see the cursor's there on the name. And the subject line is now shows the cursor there. And if I go start to type over, it works as normal. So yeah, a uh, little trick you got to do to, if you've accidentally hit the insert key when you're using uh, Gmail to uh, get it back to the normal setting and the way you want it. And you're welcome for making this video to figure that out. Uh, lots of Google searches on it. All right. Good luck.